number one today is your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. 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 So we dealt with truth. He dealt with truth first. Amen. 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 The Bible tells us that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. 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 And if we don't deal in truth, we can't depend on nothing happening for us if we don't tell the truth. Y'all hear me, children? Yes. Right. You know, sometimes we try to save our backside by telling a lie. But I want you to know that the Lord wants us to know we have to start out with truth. Amen. And the pictures that were given us um, with the armor of God, you see, uh, this armor includes your private parts being cut. Okay? Yeah. All right. That's the what the truth starts with. Amen. 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 Because that's where the enemy reaches us most okay. to our flesh. Amen. 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 We praise God. Thank you, Lord. So to put on the armor, you need armor if you have to do what? Battle. If you have to battle. Yeah. Amen. Yes, you don't need no armor if you ain't got to fight, right? That's right. Yeah. All right. Amen. But uh you need armor if you've got Somebody attacking you and stuff coming against you. Amen. And y'all, yeah. we got an enemy that's attacking all the time. Yeah. 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 All right. And so if we try to walk out just depending on ourselves and not trusting in God and the power and the might that He has given us, we're gonna be beat up every time. Yeah. Who yeah. 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 wants to be beat every time? Nobody. So, <laughs> all right. I'm telling you, and I tell you, so we've got to put on the armor of God. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. Praise God. Oh, God. The, the thing that the enemy, he comes against us with fear first. Mm -hmm. So on, we'll try on, to uh, power down oh, and yeah. back out the way. Oh, Amen. yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm oh, telling yeah. you, God has given us armor to stand up and fight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the enemy is not going to go away unless... You have the proper thing to deal with the enemy. Amen. Praise yeah. yeah. God. Yeah. And so, the enemy comes against you with a lie. You got to have the truth. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. If, if, if he comes against you to stab you in the heart with mm -hmm. her, you got to have on your blessed plate, breastplate of righteousness. Yeah. Right. Because right. your, if your heart is destroyed, okay. what's gonna happen to the rest of you? That's right. Huh? Yeah, and you know what? People, when they try to kill somebody, they try to shoot them in the head uh -huh. or shoot them in the heart uh -huh. or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Praise God. So we need this armor. And so now today we come to putting on uh, having your feet. Now, y'all makes it personal. All mm -hmm. right. All right. It ain't uh, 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 Pastor John feet, uh, Pastor Deneen feet, uh, Bishop uh, Hill, Pastor Frederick, Mother Stamp, your feet. Your okay. feet. Who is your? My hand. All right. Raise your hand if it's talking about you. My feet. All right. Yeah. Your feet. Okay. All right. With your feet shod. Okay, now that word means that you got something on your feet and it's strapped on tight. Okay, that word shod, it means that you've got something secure on your feet. Amen. You see these shoes here, I got on here this morning because I want my toes to be comfortable. But now I would be stupid to go out in some snow slipping and sliding with these shoes on. What? Well, you got to go out in snow, you got to put on some what? Boots. Boots. Yeah. All right. You want your feet protected. That's Amen. Right. And so this said, your feet shod, strapped down securely with the preparation. Uh -huh. Now this word here, preparation, is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. Now the preparation, that word in the Greek that is written in, it means foundation. Mm -hmm. All right. What if this house does not have a firm foundation when yeah, they build it. Yeah, What's yeah, going to yeah. happen to it? Oh, it's going to fall down. down. Yes, yes, All yes, right? Yes. And and even if the foundation ain't firm, not only the house, but the roof will say. Yeah. You know your roof won't even be right. The top oh, of you won't be right if your foundation right. is not right. Amen. All right? Now, we walk on our feet. 
your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Mm -hmm. uh, the gospel, in other words, uh, the foundation that we have, preparation meaning foundation, is the word of God. Mm -hmm. All right? You've got to have the word of God Absolutely. down in you. If you're going to walk on the right foundation. Amen. If not, Amen. you know what? It's just like you're going to be walking, trying to walk on water all the time. Yeah. And, uh, and and look, if you ain't got the word of God in you, you won't be like Jesus. You'll be sinking and drowning down in the water. Mm -hmm. All right? So the word of God is basic. All right? Your feet shod with the, with the preparation. That is the foundation of the gospel of peace. The gospel yeah, yeah, yeah. is the good news yeah. of the word. That's what gospel means. Good news of the word. All right? How many people like good news? Yeah. I All do. Right. All right. Everybody <laughs> want no bad news. Amen. Amen. We want some good news. Amen. All right. So your feet anchored in the foundation, the preparation of the word of God. All right? Amen. Now, uh, so how does this work? Well, the Lord suggested to me, well, he gave me the direction to just give you some examples this morning. And we want to start with the example of Joshua. Okay? Joshua had followed Moses 40 years all through the wilderness when the Jews were out there in the wilderness. God was trying to teach us something. Amen. And then it came Joshua's time to lead them to take the promise that God had given. Yes. God gave them an inheritance. So they, and so God, God has given us an inheritance. He has given us inheritance of peace. All right? But in order to keep our peace, we've got to be anchored in the word of God. Yes. And so God led them out of slavery. Do you know when we serve the devil, we are still enslaved? Amen. Our people have came here from Africa, we were brought here from Africa, and our people were slaves for over 300 years. Yeah. Amen. My great grandmother was a slave. Amen. And they had to keep on looking and to believe in God to be free. Yeah. Amen. But I want to tell us that we are not free if we are not led by the Word of God, because the enemy is going to surely come along and try to trip us up. Amen. 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 And so. The first example he gave me was Joshua. And he might ask, does the God of Joshua still live? Praise God. And when you go home and you read that 10th chapter of, God, uh, uh, of Joshua, and maybe a couple of chapters before, you're going to find that jo Joshua stood on the word when he had made a mess up. All right. All right. Now, how many of us mess up sometimes? Oh, yeah. And we need to come to repentance. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Well, I want to tell you, when we come to repentance, God. that God will break the word is just as strong, but we have Amen. to Hallelujah. And I want to come to it. Yes. Now, Joshua, after Moses died, Joshua was charged with leading the people. They had stumbled around God trying to teach them for 40 years wow, right. in the wilderness. Wow. Yeah. And finally, yeah. they're going to possess yeah. the reward that God has for them, which is the promised land. Amen. 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 And that's Israel, what we call Israel today. They're going to possess the promised land. Mm -hmm. Well, there were some people in there that were dogging out God's name, didn't care nothing about them, and thought they were in charge. Wow. And God was not going to let them stay on his land. Yeah. So he gave that land, hallelujah, to the children of Israel, amen, which was theirs in the beginning, but they had been taken into yeah. slavery. Yeah. And, and so now Moses, uh, they wouldn't go in the first time God told them. And so they spent 40 years roaming around in the wilderness, trying to, uh, God trying to bring them there where they would obey. Yeah. Okay. And guess what? All those people that came out of Israel, they died in the wilderness. All of them, 19 and over, except Joshua and Caleb and that family, they stayed out in the wilderness till they died. So now it's our choice, y'all. 
Well, we're going to stay out in the wilderness. All right. Come right. on. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put on the whole armor of God yeah, yeah, and yeah, let yeah, God yeah. lead us. Amen. 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 Joshua was one. He was a personal assistant to Moses. You know, it's uh, a good place to be a personal assistant to the pastor. You learn some things, the trials and stuff that they go through and how they pray. So Joshua was a personal assistant to Moses, and he stuck on Moses like white on rice. Uh -huh. I tell you. Mm -hmm. And he learned a few things as he followed Moses around. And then Moses died, and God said to Joshua, Moses, my servant, is dead. And you're going to lead these people into the promised land. Amen. Amen. All right, so Joshua started out, and he started out, and God sent an angel, and he listened and was prayerful. But then some people came by, and they fooled him about in the eighth and ninth chapter. Okay. Yeah. These people came, and they had on some old raggedy clothes, like they had traveled a long way. Oh, but, <laughs> but they were from a country right next door, because oh. they heard that God had given them the land. Yeah. And so they came, and they made an agreement with Joshua. Uh, what you call that? I forgot what you call it. A covenant with Joshua, okay? Just like our country has agreements with some other country, okay? We have an agreement with uh, Japan because after World War II, uh, they made an agreement that Japan would not uh, build an army because Japan was so fierce. And to keep from killing Japan off, that was the first place the atomic bomb was dropped. They made an agreement, and the United States, has to protect Japan because they don't allow them to build up a great big army because they were so fierce, okay? And so these people came and they uh, pretended they were from long way. They had on some clothes, some old ragged clothes, and got some old dried up food, and they were from right next door. Oh, my but they came and said, and so they wanted to make peace with Joshua, with Joshua making an agreement to protect them in case something happened, all right? And so Joshua didn't confer with the Lord at that time. And they went on and they made the agreement with the people. Mm -hmm. And then later on, they found out the people were from right next door down the street. Mm -hmm. All right? And they lived in some of the land that God had given to Joshua yeah. then. Mm -hmm. And so they surrendered to Joshua. But Joshua had to protect them. Mm -hmm. And then when Joshua found out what he would, had done, the only thing he could do is repent before the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 And so then some of those other people, they heard that the people next door had gone and made a covenant with Joshua. Yes. And so they decided by four, three or four of them, nation, came together to attack this country. Now Joshua has put his word out. Yeah. And I want to tell y'all, Lord, y'all, once you put your word out, yeah. even though it's a mistake, amen, on, man. you got to keep your word yeah. once you put your word out. Yeah. And Joshua yeah. was a man of his word. Yeah. God is a person of his word. Yeah. His word does not change. Yeah. And therefore, we can trust him. And so then Joshua found out they had been tricked. All right. And so he, when he found out, he bought the people and he told them they would be servants to Israel, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And they agreed, okay? That was to keep their heads, keep from being killed. Yeah. So here come these nations coming against these people uh, to take their land because they heard they had gone and made an agreement with Joshua. Mm -hmm. And so about three or four of them got together, big country. And they decided they were going to come against that little place. So Joshua got to go and defend them because he made the promise. Okay? Uh -huh. Praise God. So that lesson teaches us we always confer with God before we go making an agreement with somebody. All right? Because if, if you don't know whether that thing is from God, it could be from the enemy trying That's to trip right. you up. Right. So Joshua was tripped up, but Joshua didn't stay tripped up. Okay. He got on his knees and he asked God to help. And so then the people, uh, the people were uh, uh, were coming against him, and he went out uh, to fight the people in battle. Amen. Okay. And uh, so um, 
as as Joshua went to fight them, he was beating them up because he had some strong men. Yeah. But then it was getting dark. And Joshua would say, Son, stand still. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, we, and scientists tell you that they can prove that the time for the earth was off for about 24 hours. Yeah. The sun stood still yeah. for the space of 24 yeah. hours. Wow. All Joshua needed was some daylight to be. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he them up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God controls the sun. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he gave them strength mm, to stand God. against them and beat them up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. And that was the end of that. My so Lord. then that just encouraged the rest of them as they were gone. Don't come against Joshua if you're yeah. not ready to fight. Yeah. 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 Praise yeah. God. Yeah. So the question to us, does the God still live? Yeah. And I'm going to tell yeah. us today yeah. that just like Joshua spoke to the sun yeah. and say, son, stand yeah. still yeah. over yeah. Angelon. Yeah. That was the place yeah. where he was. And the sun gave daylight for another 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. tell you the same yeah. God that was Joshua's God yeah. is our God. Yeah. Yeah.
spirit. Yes, Lord. For anybody who believes in God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We have angels to minister Amen. for us. Thank you, Lord. We have angels to protect us. Yes. If we will walk in the truth. Mm -hmm. And so the armor of God, our feet, having our the right things, watch your walk. Where you go, walk in the word. Don't walk outside of the word. Mm -hmm. If it's repentance you need, stay in the word and walk in the word. If it's help you need, because you ain't done, you haven't done anything to anybody, some bully is coming up against you, just stay in the word. Yes. And yes. Consult the my, Lord my, my, my. And see what is yes, going on. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. And so the God of Joshua is still there. The yes, God of Jehoshaphat. Still <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Ooh. And he has even, the Bible says <clears throat> in Psalms 8 that he has ordained praise, hallelujah, mm -hmm. from the mouth of infants yes, to, 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 to acquire the enemy and the avenger. Mm -hmm. Do you know with babies just doing what they do, crying and asking for food, that they are praising God? Because he says, out of the mouths of babes and suckling, have I ordained praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. So when babies act like babies, they praise in the Lord. Hallelujah. So all we need to do is act like children of God and do whatever it is he's given us to do. Amen. All babies know to do is cry for what they want. Yeah. And the yeah. Lord declares that that's a praise. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise God. And when we are obedient to God, and work in the gifts and talents that he has given us, we praise in the Lord. Yeah. Amen. So, <laughs> the God of Joshua still lives. Yes, he does. The God of Jehoshaphat still lives. Amen. And uh, I'm going to tell you now about the God of Angelo. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He still yeah. lives too. Yeah. Amen. Because we could call the roll and go all the way through the Bible with all the saints. Mm -hmm. But we just want you to get the point today. Amen. 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 I don't know if I can tell you anything new because I tell all of my testimonies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. He won't pray. But um, I, I, I pray God that um, as a um, as I left home, as you all are growing up, and you'll leave home at some point, um, and, and came up here to D.C. by myself at age 17, no money to buy any food. Uh, father unemployed because they blackballed him from working. No money to send me, but my parents trusted God enough to let me come a thousand miles away from home with nothing to send me. And they gave me the understanding I could go out of the bank of prayer. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you, the bank is still open. My <laughs> Lord. My Lord. I, I, I got here and um, I went to chapel on campus at Howard. But um, I didn't it for me. I needed a little bit more spiritual service. And I asked somebody about a church near campus. And they sent me to Mount Sinai Baptist Church. And I went to Mount Sinai. I went to within walking distance of the campus. And I got there. I didn't say nothing to the people. But see, I know my parents were back home friends. And the people got to ordering over who was going to get the privilege to take me home for dinner. I didn't right. tell nobody I was yeah. home. <laughs> so, and in one family, uh, uh, it was a big family of youngs in that church. And one of the young family took me home. They had some teenage boys. They, they took me home one Sunday and fed me good and gave me leftovers to take back to the dorm for those yeah. lazy girls that wouldn't get up and go to church. And uh, here I am. I don't have no food, but we had no refrigerator. Refrigeration. So I'm like Santa Claus handing out food to all them who wouldn't get up and go to church. And right. yeah, mm -hmm. That's the way God will do you. Yeah. And so I want to say to the parents, you know, your prayers mean something. As you walk in righteousness, and uphold your children in prayer. Those prayers come with them. Yes. <laughs> Pray yes. God. You know, sometimes you. they might not can bring themselves to do something they yeah. not supposed to be doing. They don't know why, but you just keep praying for them. See? All right, praise Amen. God. Amen. But anyway, um, Thank you. Uh, I remember uh, how I was fed at Mount Sinai Baptist. 
is true. And uh, and then how the people just, they God just calls them to love me. And they just took me in. It was one elderly lady there. And I like to cook. And I used to go around to her house sometimes and bake her a cake. And, mm. Oh, man, she just loved the people. <laughs> <laughs> and after, after about four months, the girls in the dormitory saw I wasn't going to the cafeteria. And they got together and apparently had a meeting. And uh, it went too smoothly for it not to be a meeting. But well, I, I, it took me four months to get a job. And every day, uh, one girl let me use her meal ticket for breakfast. Amen. And then at lunchtime, somebody else would come up and say, Oh, I heard you like cafeteria food. You can use my meal ticket for lunch. Amen. I, see me, I didn't know them, but they knew me. Amen. They find me after lunch and get their meal ticket back. Wow. And I must have gone through the whole 200 and some girls. <laughs> yeah, it was the same girl's ticket used twice. Amen. So that's why I say it was too smooth. To God. God did something. Amen. You know, they had a meal or something. And uh, but four months, yeah, until I got it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so uh, the Lord put it in my heart that my destiny was outside of Alabama. And my mother said, uh, she said, Well, baby, if God, she said, if you stay here, we get a few canned goods, we can feed you. But if God is sending you to do that, then God, you trust in God, trust and God, God will make a way. Yes. And I'm here to tell yes. you that the God of Angel Lord still lives. Yes. Good practice. 
Amen. Right. Praise God. Amen. You know, by the time my son was 18, I realized how much time I had lost because I didn't care to practice on. Amen. Praise God. But sometimes you don't understand something, but the Bible says that, you know, you talk to your children about the word when you're walking along the street. Amen. Or when you sit down at the table. And then teach them to learn some little Bible verses. And give them a little reward for learning. That's getting the word down in them. Amen. Amen. Because that word will come and it will guide you for the rest of your life. And so I think that uh, we've had enough. But uh, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And the preparation is the word of God. The yes. foundation. Oh, that's the foundation, the word of God. And holy. Um it's the good news of peace. Jesus came, y'all, to give us peace. Yes, he did. That was his last mm -hmm. Old Testament. Okay? Over in John, he said, I give you peace. John 14, I give you peace, not as the world did, but I give you peace. The peace of God he gives us. And so anything that's disturbing your peace is against God. Amen. All right? Amen. Anything that comes Amen. to disturb your peace. Yes, yes. All right? And so the foundation of the word is what will help you to keep your peace. Because then you'll understand yes. when somebody's coming to try to knock you off of your peace. Amen. All right. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.